And at the the nice thing is the start time doesn't really matter because they're just going to go. And then once I get playing, I'll go see how much time's left, what okay. time the game ends. Hopefully we don't get there. I think we're going to get there. I have a feeling we're going to end this game at around 7 o'clock. How about you? <laughs> Let's make a Twitch poll. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? How long can this go on? <laughs> oh, crap. Hold on. Wrong one. Watch your language. This is the Gold Squadron stream, <laughs> sir. All righty. Uh, let's see. Will this match <laughs> last? <laughs> Don't look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that he was going to do that. He did. They gave fair warning. Uh, let's see. We'll go. We'll go. Seventy-five. We'll call it. Uh, let's see. What are our options here? Will this match ever end? Go for. <laughs> What's the minimum option? An hour? 60, <laughs> 60 to 75. Yep. Are you going to let people vote under 60? Oh, I should do that. Yeah. I mean, they'll be wrong, but they can vote it. <laughs> under 60. 60 to 75. 75 to... 90? Yeah. 90, 90 to 120. Nine, yeah, 90 to 120 and then time, right? There's no calling 90. That's the easy option is 90 to 120. We all know that's where it's going to land if it doesn't go to time. There it is. Started. Thanks. So 118 left. Oh, okay, 120. If if we're off by 30 seconds and it matters, sad. Does anyone have Paul's contact card available? Paul is not in the country at the moment, so no calling him. All so soon your fellow gets a shield, don't forget. And as we go into this final, I want to say thank you to our sponsor for the round, Curled Paw Creatives, for all the times they have sponsored the stream. It really means a lot. And uh, Andrew absolutely loves all of the Curled Paw pride we see all over uh, Reddit. Get your uh, 2.0 templates. Get your uh, your arc indicators, your 2.0 templates. I said templates already. I meant tokens. But, yeah, get them. you know what? Get two sets. You might need them. He actually, he does customization, too. He so does. If you uh, if you have like a local group, he'll put the logo on there for you. It's pretty easy. Somebody's calling. Somebody's calling Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> Zoom. Who is it? <laughs> People start texting him weird things. This is your chance. But uh, I want to say, is this where the Gold Squadron logo goes over the phone? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> get a crate skull over it. Easy. I don't have. Actually, I do have one of those in my yeah, database. Yeah, yeah. So you put the Gold Squadron logo and you put the crate skull on top. Got him. Wrecked. <laughs> so uh, our coupon code for Curled Paw is GenCon18. Oh, that's huge. Let's minimize that and get that over here. There it is. Should have had that there the whole time. Anyway, there you go. Uh, GenCon18. Getting set up here. So our players did request that the marshal move every ship, as they're allowed to ask. The marshal said, I hate you, I believe was this exact same thing. <laughs> so we're getting set up. Yep. Bun with the triple wide. It, Duncan with the same setup we've seen him do at other games, where he just starts with these Reapers next to each other, and Soontir is going to go somewhere right next to him. I'm surprised. So he does the... Um, He's going to open with that top reaper. He's going to aileron straight and stall. If he's like his other games have been. Yep. I'm surprised he doesn't put Suntir closer so that he can stall further back. Mm -hmm. But like you can see, if he's very carefully measuring his stall there. Yeah. Which you are allowed to do. As oh, yeah. it turns out. You can. Oh, uh, oh. All right. The plan has changed. Oh, now he wants to go five straight. Well, you can use any templates within range one. Yes. That's all that matters. And. Outside of range one on your side. Yeah. <laughs> if well, you want to set up things like at 45 degree angles and stuff, you can do banks out the back. One interesting thing, though, is that in all the documentation when they talk about uh, measuring range, they have the, the range rule yeah, oh just yeah, sticking it's all out, there. out there. Here's what, you sh well, here's what you can't do because reasons. So what's our vote? Uh, right what? now we're tied at uh, under 60, 90 to 20 in time. Wow. Only, if only three people. No, nine people have nine voted. Nine people. Three people are incorrect. Yeah, you vote uh, with your numbers on the side, one, two, three, four, and 5. One other way you guys can help us out, um, 
Of course, you have the Twitch Prime subscription. Super easy if you have Amazon Prime connected to Twitch. You give away free money. It's literally just giving away free money. You can become a Patreon subscriber. Largest group of supporters for the Gold Squadron podcast. Another way, super easy and literally free. Just takes a moment on your phone or your computer. Go ahead and share the link to this, uh, this match. Let's get as many viewers as we can here. Doesn't make me any more money, but... Twitch chat asks, what am I voting on? The poll's on the screen. Sorry, I got distracted. Left side. Yes. Oh, ooh, Duncan switching it up. He's hungry. He wants to kill that Reaper. Krennic is coming. <laughs> Krennic is coming. So uh, you will notice, I'm not putting numbers for the Reapers because Duncan has those awesome Legos Yep, and on one there. without a Lego is Buns. Yes. Makes life easy. So the white cape there is Krennic. It's a little hard to tell if you're not looking at a giant screen. <laughs> Less than 60 minutes because that's what I want to happen. Fair. Uh, I mean, there's a good chance that Duncan goes fully out on offense here, and either it works or it doesn't. But either yeah. way, a lot of things are going to burn down quickly. Do you think he'll try to take out take out Palp first? Is oh, that, yeah. Is that the plan? For sure. Uh, but, well, maybe. I, I said yes, but, and then I realized that Buns Reaper is moving after Duncan's, which is really bad for Duncan. So that means that Duncan has the initiative. Let's go ahead and yes. get that get that token out there. For now, he has initiative. Soon it will be he's the first player. And I'll have to update my little... Your little graphic. You're going to have to update a lot of little graphics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some work ahead of me. I already started. Did you? Nice. <laughs> right. I'm surprised to see Andrew starting with Ryad uh, facing outside. But it looks like, yeah, he's just going for the world's easiest flank with Ryad here. I mean, he has it yep. right now. He's, he, Duncan's just going to give it to him. So might as well take it. All these ships are so fast. They're not quite Kylo, but it's very close. <laughs> Ooh, interesting barrel roll. Okay. He looks like he's setting up that three bank. Yeah. To get in. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he's not, because he had the, the nice three turn and then rolled to either side of the rock, whichever one ended up being better uh, before. I'm surprised to see him not doing that. Uh, the, so the funny thing about the Inquisitor here is Andrew's taking a shield no matter what, right? Krennic's there, but that means soon tier's at two dice. So the Inquisitor doesn't really even need to evade <laughs> because... He's only defending against two dice unless the suit tier gets to range one, which isn't happening this turn. We've got a 179 to 90 minutes. It's a strong vote, 75 to 90. Um, we've seen Andrew plays pretty meticulously. Duncan mm -hmm. plays uh, faster, but a very slow game. Yeah. Slow, grindy game. So I, I very much suspect that even at two hours, we won't see all of these ships die. Or, I mean, obviously, we won't see all of them die. All of them but one. Right. I'll probably be, be regretting uh, not using the washroom before this one. Yep. That's all right. I'll hold down the floor. I promise it'll be fine. <laughs> you show me how to use the Telestrator. I'm a responsible adult. It'll be great. <laughs> no right. D-Wings. So, <laughs> so the Sunter fell. Four forward. Yep. Is he going to boost? Yeah, it's five forward. He wants it. He does. So you'll notice that Duncan uses the five forward system open template, the Boba one, because it is very thin. <laughs> yes. Lots of, uh, yeah, there's the boost. He's, it's, it's so funny watching the Soontier being willing to trade shots with the Inquisitor, but he's always going to hit the Inquisitor for one, and the reverse is not true. Yep. Uh, we have to increase shield on Soontier. Oh, oh, you, you did there? already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. you already. Because uh, he has the optimized prototype in there. And you're right, the... Uh, the optimized prototype condition on Sutrafell is going to allow him to just to start stripping shields. Yep. He's, Suntir's just going to, I mean, Suntir's not going to take meaningful damage here. Well, that's what we said last game. And then he took a blinded and a damaged engine, like on the only main shot he took. Yeah. It is quite exciting to have both these guys on the final table. Both very good players have had great seasons yeah, well, uh, I mean, leading up to this. Um, I mean, they've been vying for I mean, not actively like they don't care but it's you know they're, they're generally considered the two best players in the country slash continent slash world mm -hmm. um, so it's nice to see them meet on a final table like this they played in Swiss but it was the 5-0 and o game and neither of them cared right uh, Andrew won but I don't think it was convincing and I don't like I think they both said it was just a horrific dumpster fire after the fact so here comes Krennic oh he's banking out probably going to take the one turn then or three, three bank two. Bank. Yeah, there it is. Bank. Just the rainbow of templates. Such disrespect. I love it. 
not disrespect. He's just showing. He's, he's these I'm are my accomplishments. It's not disrespectful. Yeah, we stand him. It's his accomplishments, his achievements. Even <laughs> got it. It's not disrespect. I'm just showboating. It's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pride. It's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't hold it against Duncan. I don't hold it. I love it. Duncan's going to do some space docking over there. Oh, he's got him at different heights. Okay. Yeah. I just love the Reaper on a small model. It looks or on a small base. It looks, it's just ridiculous looking. It is very large. Have you played the medium base Reaper yet? Have you I, I haven't had t oh, time man. yet. They are so fair. They, to they, got, to they got least improved. It's like <laughs> an edition award. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really surprised to see Bun set up on the board edge because he could be ailering on, like he could be at a 45 facing away here. Right. And I mean, obviously, he doesn't want to joust this, not, not even a little bit. Though, I mean, he could actually hit Suntir here if Suntir's not careful. Yep. Yep. Then there's the focus. Come at me. Yep. Joust me. There's the three bank. It might be a roll out because he wants that three turn. That's why so I'm surprised we saw the barrel roll because he could be three turning, barrel rolling right, but he wouldn't have Lone Wolf. I get mm -hmm. it. I see through it. I get it now. This is why Andrew's on this table. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for Ryad's action. Let's think through some of his possibilities. This first edition barrel roll gives you a lot more flexibility, obviously, than the second edition one. Yep. Yeah, all sorts of really good options. Mm -hmm. like it's, uh, it's, it's hard to explain. Like, oh, you only can go a quarter ship base less. That sounds very small. It's a big deal because especially if you're a double reposition ace, that's way less further you can boost as well. Yep. Raya just going to grab a target lock. That seems like it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Why gonna, you can. Yep. Going to style on soon tier. Look what I can do that you can't. Even if you could, I'm going to spectral it off. Oh, I'm surprised to see such a slow move. You must know that it just barely catches... Two tier in range there. Yep, there it is. So he'll get that lock, save it for later, get himself an evade. Thank you. Grab a focus while he's at it. And Duncan's Reapers are pretty far out of position here. I mean, generally you don't want to trade shots with one ship versus your entire opponent's list. He might, unless that ship is two tier. He might be going five forward though. Yeah. Okay, three forward. Yep, so he's going to be cleanly in the Inquisitor's Arc, which means he needs a focus and an evade. Oh, but that re even that Reaper shot on him is scary. That's range three. That's a two agility. Still have Palpatine. Plus three. Or, yeah, two agility plus one shot into that Reaper that can focus on defense with Palpatine. Uh, I mean, Suntir's going to hit it for one, of course. But yeah. Like, look at Suntir's turns next turn. He's got Riot behind him. The quiz is going to be behind him. He's really scared of those blocks from the Reaper. That's what I'm sure that's what Duncan's looking at now. Like, how right. do I not get blocked next turn? He might want to be just a little bit more forward to get behind and kind of like we, we have tools for this. I'm we do. Sorry. The future's here. So I'm wondering, you know, if he does come a little bit more forward, if he'd be able to scoop around this way, right? And then you crash down. That's that's with the other two Reapers. That's what I would expect, but that's not what we've seen Duncan doing. Today. It looks like he's, so he's going to go <laughs> opposite the opposite yeah, direction. No. The like just that's yo. why he's on the final table. Right? Well, so I was going to say we've been seeing Duncan do the exact opposite all day. Like mm -hmm. he's taking the suit here and he's trading shots with it. So you know he's going to go. That's not going to dodge that arc. It, ooh, is it? It might. It might. It's very close. No, he's got it. Okay. So arc is dodged, but does he get a shot? I don't think so. Uh, I think he. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, but there he also go. has a range one shot from a reaper into him. Like that's with just a focus. <laughs> <laughs> like that's Star Wars Armada players. Half an hour left in the round. If you're playing Armada, make sure three. you finish up your round in the next half hour. Yep. But like this is a scary shot into suit here. If he does more than <laughs> There's four. He's gonna spend that. So it takes the shield. So he rolls one, he's gonna roll another one. Can't see what's going on. Takes another shield. Is there a card involved? Doesn't look like it. Um, so this is where it's interesting because I mean we saw we saw can do this exact same thing before. Completely and totally sell out Sinterfell. Yeah. Sell him out to the wolves. He takes some damage and is never seen again. 
So presumably we're popping in a crit here, and there's four into Suntir, who only has three. Like, he's taking a damage yeah. here. If he doesn't roll two symbols, he's taking another one. Symbol, symbol, that uh, takes a shield. Takes a shield. He's like, hey, I'm optimized. It worked yep. out. It <laughs> guesses the, uh, the thought there. But now, I mean, Ryad's going to three turn right. Yep. The Inquisitor's going to one turn right. And that Reaper can block almost all of Suntir's maneuvers. So Duncan has to correctly guess and not get blocked here. Or he might just lose the game in 14 minutes. 24 <laughs> minutes. No, 14 minutes. So. I mean, it's pretty much a 50-50 call with Suntir, right? I mean, I think the safest move is to go four forward. Yeah, I fully expect him to four straight. Right. But that means now it's... Andrew's entire list against two Reapers, and I'm going to put my money on the full list. The full list. <laughs> because, you know, we're not getting the benefit of Krennic for the target locks. So what are we thinking here? Three hard barrel roll? Oh, yeah. So if soon tier. Four straight. We'll see the Inquisitor take a one bank or a one turn. Yep. Uh, we'll see. I mean, basically the question is, is Andrew going to bother, com like, keeping following soon tier, or do you just block the two turn in and then just completely ignore him? Yep. Because, like, you could take your Reaper and Aileron left one straight. Just block those. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like dealing with these. And then I'll let my aces. You could even um, three bank Ryad and then three turn Ryad the turn after to get behind. Very smooth. <laughs> uh, to get behind those Reapers. But it's um, it's basically just a targeting priority question. Andrew has the time to hunt down and kill Suntir. But why do that when you can just kill these one agility Reapers? Yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, he has the firepower with two... Essentially, two uh, attacking ships, right? Yep. Uh, the Reapers are support ships that have guns. Yeah, they have very real guns. Yes. That. Yep. But yeah, I mean, they're basically lambdas that can actually turn. Yeah. <laughs> that are way faster. They're like lambdas with the A-wing dials and maneuvers. <laughs> it's very odd. It takes like well, like and he and here's that that rabbit hole of a game, right? If Duncan is convinced that. Andrew thinks he'll just four straight disengage. Yeah, then why not two turn? Right. But then is that... Like, I, I feel like Duncan is willing to take more risks than Andrew. Yeah, and Duncan's willing assessment. to take more risks now than he's than I've seen him take in a very long time. Yeah. This is not the same Duncan that I learned how to play aces with. There you go. <laughs> but the aces are different, right? Like, yeah. With, you know, he's playing, we're, we're playing quick draw now. We're playing hull upgrade soon tier that I'm still upset about, but <laughs> we won't go into that. <laughs> But you know, if he were a stealth device there, it's possible that he wouldn't have t he wouldn't have lost it. But if he lost, like you know, if he just joust with Suntir, then you, stealth device is not useful. Right. Which I mean, I guess the call is that he wanted to be more aggressive, so he took the hull. So eight rounds one here, to the right, waiting on that maneuver. Two bank. The, the two bank is a very specific amount of distance. That's interesting. I wonder why the two. Does he want to maybe like just take the one bank behind it with Mr. Palpatine here? Just trying to protect it, keep it at range three. But I guess it doesn't make make a difference with the lightweight frame, does it? Well, it does. It, maybe, it yeah, goes two from to two, to two to three, yeah. Oh, he just wants to get them back together. Okay. Okay. Got to get the band back together. I'm so used to the lightweight frame on two agility ships yep. rather than one. Yeah, it's, it's much better at one agility. It out. is. Without Palpatine. With Palpatine, it gets complicated way too fast for me to want to talk about it. So do you have to put pressure on two tiers, the question? Or, like, can you just let him two turn? Like, just block it, worry about it next turn? Because you can kill almost all of a Reaper. Like, if if Andrew gets three shots on it, mm -hmm. he could base... Like, if he... Let's, so, let's, so let's say his Palp Reaper is doing the three bank right. right. So he can alien on straight, three bank right, jam... All right, that's not what's happening at all, so it doesn't matter. Well, and I think uh, one thing that Duncan might be banking on is he knows that Andrew is extremely cagey. Yeah, is so this a Inquisitor might be, might just be out of the fight. Yeah. Inquisitor might just run. You know, one bank and boosts. Yep, so he's getting his Palp Reaper safe from Suntir. It's going to uh, have two shots there onto him from the other two Reapers. Uh, he might be out of arc of the left one. It's hard to say. Well, you want a vassal cheat for me? <laughs> we'll do the best we can. Yeah, I mean, I know the angle's not quite right, but it's close. It's yeah, very it's close. not actually what that line looks like on the table because, yep. you know, angles and stuff. 
math, geometry. So three hard. Nope. Barrel left is what I'm thinking. Tr trying to get in that flanking position. Um, I like the right roll back more because if the quiz blocks suit here, I don't think the Inquisitor is. Well, he could one bank just roll back behind the Reaper. That might be the thing to do, and just bully Suntir out of helping this turn, because then he'd be blocked on the Inquisitor. Wouldn't have a shot on the Reaper. Wouldn't have a shot on anything else. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, so he grabs the barrel roll template. He's losing Lone Wolf. Oh, you're right. It Going is that to the left. Way. Interesting. I, I think, I think the Inquisitor's getting out. Yeah. Is the thing. That's that's the only reason. Oh, uh, that'll buy him Lone Wolf. Okay, yeah. got it. Makes sense. Once again. Keeping Lone Wolf on Riot is a huge priority. That does not go as far as he wanted it to, so we might have to go back now. Yeah. But, yeah, his nub should be clear. He should be able to go straight from there. He hasn't He hasn't let it go yet. Yep. He's still assessing and removes it. So we'll probably have two shots into the Palp Reaper from Andrew this turn. Yeah. Oh, three. Yeah, three. Okay, I didn't. I really didn't think the Inquisitor was coming in. Well, so he's got the barrel roll right back now, so that'll block Suntir's turns and banks. Uh, he won't, like you know, he won't shoot Suntir, but that's not the point. He just wants to get him out of the fight. So the nice thing here is he can target lock the Palp Reaper and see how much room he has to barrel roll from that. You know, can he go all the way back or does he need to go forward some? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look like he's actually going to measure it. He's just going to stack up and let Suntir yeah. do whatever he wants. Also fair. <laughs> So let's see uh, if Duncan called the aggressive move by Andrew. Yep, or did Andrew? No, Andrew correctly said, I don't believe you. <laughs> you're leaving. I know you're leaving. You know you're leaving. Just get out of here. So Duncan's going to want to reposition here to oh. get. Look at that shine. That is luminescent. <laughs> All right, thankfully he's going to boost and presumably fix that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> Please, gold. That is that is. You are living up to the podcast name, <laughs> sir. Wow. Stay cold, pulling away. No, we're just leaving it. Yep. The uh, three hits into one of the reapers. So he rolls one, two. Oh, this is the inquisitor. Okay, that is in fact how that works. All Did right. He roll an evade there. That was into the palp reaper. Uh, yes. yes. Ryad's going to be range something. Maybe just so range three. Is this the shot you palp in a crit? It's. I mean, those. Why not? He's got Lone Wolf. He's got the reroll. He probably has Lone Wolf. Yeah. So it's he, one palp. Lone Wolf is pretty good. I'm in. I'm in uh, for, for yes, palp in so a crit here. offense. Yep. yep. He already got the shields. Those cock die. <laughs> Duncan's like, oh, maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't cocked. I so hit, ride. crit, crit, popping so an evade. Here. That's two. Can he get the third? Focuses, it looks like, for three. Yep. So safe there. That could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. Uh, Twitch chat uh, here. Uh, Derek Clivian saying one of the the <laughs> math stars went supernova. Facts. That is blinding. It's kind of beautiful, though. It is. It's like a nice little sparkle. Like you. Aw. You're cute, too. <laughs> so, soon tier, definitely two turning boosting next turn, right? It's like, oh, crap, I got to get in the fight. Yep. And the Inquisitor probably getting blocked this turn. <laughs> it doesn't have a whole lot that looks good. Uh did Andrew miss the opportunity to get a Krennic lock? Uh, Andrew does not have Krennic. Oh, duh. <laughs> I, I keep thinking the same thing, though. So checking arc. Yep. Oh, look at it. Beautiful Brent Wong arm. Can't uh, can't go without mentioning our judges. Thank you, all of your our X-Wing judges this season who have been on Gold Squadron Podcast, doing, doing the work, making the calls, moving the ships when <laughs> nobody want, else wants to. Yep. Even though they won't move all the ships for us. <laughs> so it looks like that's out of arc if we're measuring to the Inquisitor. I imagine this will be a whole lot of nothing, but you might as well do it. Look, two hits. I'm sure I'll get him. All right. He rolled anything. It's fine. Yeah. Going into the Reaper. 
Yep. Two dice focus, three dice focus against two dice focus, basically. So there's two. Looks like hit crit. I like how Andrew's using the Duncan Palp against Duncan. This takes a crit, which I guess I'll have to go investigate. That is a long walk. I'll get on it. <laughs> Be right back. Yep. They do it in the right order this time, too. Boom. So safe there, spends a focus. Soon tears fell, engines are on fire. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. See a little Lego piece right there. So if I were to kind of just take an initial assessment, I think we for sure get that soon fell, you know, Two turn boost, make that arc relevant again, start using that optimized prototype. Um, as for Reapers, we know that Duncan has the initiative, so he can plan out his moves without wondering uh, what the what the uh, you know, for blocking. That nobody's going to be in his way besides what's already there. Gets to plan accordingly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm super tired. Fourth day of Gen Con. What's the, what's the verdict? There we go. You probably figured out after I left because he only rolled two dice on his attack, presumably. It's a weapons failure. Ah. So. Oh, we, we got Dutch at the sideline. Aha. Thank you. Sideline reporting. Brilliant. No, no, no. Move the target lock under no circumstances. <laughs> uh, did Andrew's Reaper actually attack there? Yes, it okay. missed. It missed. Okay. Just two dice shot into two dice. Makes sense. Uh, so what's interesting is Duncan came out ahead on that exchange, and he had two one ship shooting, <laughs> a real shot. So, well, I mean, I guess Andrew stripped two shields, but presumably he's not too happy about it. So that's a weapons failure on his Scarif, right? Yep. Um, so what's kind of interesting here is this turn is uh, yeah. So you, you you drew the soon tier one turn boost, right? Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that's we all know what's happening. Yeah. But the rest of this turn is going to be really interesting. Like this turn right here is uh, doing this turn correctly is what gets these players to this table because yeah. this is a really hard turn for both of them. Oh yeah. Uh, so so Duncan having initiative is going to be able to know where his Reapers are going to land. Right. But I think some of the problems is I think the spots that he would want to get to might be blocked. Yes, there are ships in the way. Yeah. Uh, that, so his Palp Reaper can aileron left, sloop right, and land right next to the Inquisitor. Oh, they're just going to beat us to it. Okay. Uh, but the Inquisitor is, like, horrifically terrified of all of this. Uh, I, so he's probably dialed in a one turn left or a four straight. I can't imagine he's doing much of anything else. And even that one turn left is scary. I imagine Ryad is doing like a one bank left, or if he can fit it, a 5k. It's just hard to know if he can fit it. Looks like Krennic is just out of here. Yeah, they took him off. No, I mean, like he's three banking over everything. Oh, okay. He just wants off. He's going to drop a jam or something, you know. Jam, 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 jam. Give, give, it, give it to the quiz. Yep. But I guess that, that just eats the target lock from last turn. Yeah, which he'll get for free and then yeah. get an evade, and he won't really care. So that target lock is now officially on the wrong ship. <laughs> yes, that should be on Sunter. Yes. And that was from... So that's he, a, he's using two sets of gold. So the Inquisitor has a target lock, so he can't have a jam token. That's not a legal board state. So yeah. hopefully they get that cleaned up. Oh, he has, uh, is it ISB Slicer? Yes. Yeah. So he's jamming off the lock, and yes, and then landing a jam. Okay, got it. That's what? Or that that was, that, yeah, that was from, uh, from earlier. No, no, but that lock is on suit tier. Yes. Yeah, okay, there you they go. They got it. They figured it out. They solved the puzzle. 
So, I mean, I guess the only thing we do know here is uh, <laughs> is Suntia, right? Yeah. And oh, well, Ryad <laughs> is a coin flip <laughs> between two moves, basically. It depends on what clears, and we don't have enough information yeah. to know which clears. I'm willing to bet it's just a one bank, though. No reason to do anything fancy. Uh, but and it does mean uh, Suntir is basically going to get a turn of unanswered shots, but Suntir's offense against these ships is not meaningful. Turn around, possibly? Yep. There it is. Called it. Called it. But, man, that Palp Reaper is now coming back into the fight, and it is I mean, it's not on injured. fire. It's not, like, you know, it doesn't have shields, though. Every damage yep. it takes at this point is going to be a crit, most likely. I mean, he might be calling the bank here from... Uh, yeah. From Andrew. Krennic makes it back to a ship. Congratulations, Mr. Krennic. Director Krennic. Direct. That's director to you, yeah, sir. Sorry. All right, so Ryad is doing something. We'll see what. Debating advanced sensors. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's, that's Sorry, that's second edition. Not yet. Oh, could you imagine advanced sensors boost left 5K? Oh, Th that the Scarab base pilot's picking a direction to go, actually. That's what's happening here. Okay. That makes significantly more sense. So does he uh, clip the rock there? Don't think so. Didn't look like it. No. No. Okay. Uh, so I imagine he's going to go s do something, clear his weapons failure. Oh, take a three bank. And so he's already jammed. So the question is, do you even bother clearing your jam token? Because you know Palpatine's going to come do it again next turn. Yes. Well, I mean, they stack, don't they? No. Oh, you, can't, you, can't, you, you can only perform the jam action on ships that are not jammed. You're right. So, yeah, he's just going to clear the gym. I don't think he's too worried about his offense on his Palp Reaper anymore. You know, he got a shot. He's He would be happy if it weren't for the weapons failure. <laughs> There's a three bank, so we'll get yep. focus, uh, yeah, evade focus evade most evade likely. There. Not going to make that a K turn because that would be cheating. <laughs> the white three sloop would be a pretty good strategy. Yeah, it would be. There's an evade. Going to consider the barrel roll. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of reason to do it. Because yep. Palpatine's just going to be staring into the front of Ryad next turn. And maybe even the other Reaper. If he can get that weapons failure cleared. Yeah, As you learn how to play this game, uh, it's always good to just consider your repositions, right? You know, we've been playing for a while. You can see that the barrel roll doesn't necessarily make sense in this situation. But a lot of times, some people rush into it. Like, oh, let yep. me just throw the token down and go. Just making sure, uh, you know, consider your options. You don't know where that could put you. Even in second edition, with the less movement on the barrel roll, that could still make a difference in the game. <laughs> yep. Uh, what's interesting here is, so the Inquisitor doesn't really want to be exactly right there. He wants to, like, boost straight and then push barrel roll right mm -hmm. so that he can get behind that Palp Reaper and get a good shot on him next turn. But that'll leave him with no target lock token. And he wants the target lock token because if he gets jammed... Yes, it's just like it's like it, it eats the, the target the, lock, yeah. and he can't ISB slice another ship at range one of the Inquisitor. Instead, he's got to drop two on it. So, yeah, he's going to grab the lock... Um, we'll see if he pushes at all. The answer might just be no, because next turn, even if the Reaper two banks, he can one turn barrel roll right He has no it. shots so on good. him right now. Yeah. Because I don't think Suntir's not going to be able to reach him. Yeah. Oh, he's actually going to push. Interesting. I guess he's scared of Suntir's one turn boost right shot at him. There it is. Because that'll be the only shot on the quiz. Yeah, and he knows the Inquisitor's one turning, so there's no reason not to just do it. Roll first before the boost. Get as much distance there as possible. Makes sense. Because he wants to move in the direction of the Inquisitor more than he wants to move in the direction perpendicular to it. Right. Can't explain this very well without <laughs> drawing it, and I can't draw it fast enough for it to show up in time. So I'm going to hope that made sense. No, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, you're you're increasing your... I mean, if, let's, talk, let's talk from top to bottom, right? Yep. You, he was just coming higher so that the boost just gets closer. Yes. Yeah. So now he has a, a shot there on the Inquisitor, has the optimized prototype ability to be able to get rid of a shield. Oh, we might grab the Ryad shield instead. Just looking at his options We've been there. laughing before the game saying, hey, look, Ryad and Suture cost the same final salvo. Please don't, please don't bully us all into waiting two <laughs> hours for your game to end doing final salvo. Um, but it looks like he's, going, he's saying, all right, I'm just going to take the Inquisitor shields one at a time, which seems more reasonable. So there is the shield. We got two results out there still. Gets a free target lock. Sure. Yeah, optimized prototype. Range two. It's mm -hmm. only two results. It's very unlikely that you need to Palpatine here, but it's, it's even less likely that Ryad's going to need to Palpatine. Yeah, so you so probably do, do it here. So 
he's good. Looks like he didn't even bother palpatine -ing. All right, so it looks like we're at the end of combat here. So let's talk about some of these Reapers first. Oh, sorry. This yeah, you got one I, I'm shot. forgetting. No worries. It's uh, it's not a very meaningful shot. It's pro we're probably good to start talking about <laughs> positioning. <laughs> All right, so we got two PS1 Reapers. I mean, he probably goes into the other Reaper if he can, right? If it's in arc, I just don't think it is. That we may use for it's another game. We'll see. I really don't think that's an arc. It was not measured very carefully. All right, it looks like it doesn't matter. Um, so here's what's interesting is that last turn was so intricate and there was so much going on, but this one's just autopilot for both players. Um, Soon Tier's going to two straight. That Reaper is going to uh, credit. Imperial Assault players, does anybody have a spare map? Thanks, Wade. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, go ahead. Krennic Reaper? Yes, yeah, so the Krennic Reaper was going to aileron and then do either a, presumably a one turn. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of other moves that make sense for it. Uh, the, the Inquisitor will one turn left. Uh, and so the Palp Reaper is really the only ship that's making an actual decision. Uh, Andrew Bunn's Palp Reaper, the top Reaper, has an actual decision to make. I imagine he's just running because he has a weapons failure. You know, like that, and then a three bank. Yep, just get out of there. Riot will do a K turn. Shocking. And that Palp Reaper... Uh, Duncan's Palp Reaper will do a two-bank in either direction or a three-straight. Uh, presume It's probably just a two-bank. Ah, oh, crap. Right, though, if I had to guess, but they're all the same. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's just funny that like, after such an interesting turn, we get one that's like, well, okay, here's the moves. Right. Um, I'm hoping that they see something that I don't and that there's something more interesting there because, again, the turn after that will be really complicated. Mm -hmm. um, but because, like, you know, ships like Riot and these Reapers have so much repositioning ability <laughs> that every other turn, that, it doesn't play itself, right? Like, right. If, it's not obvious that that's what you're going to do until you played it a few times, and it's like, oh, yeah, all right, my Reapers can two-turn boost every turn, basically. It's just the boost happens before the turn, or one-turn boost every turn. Updated the health there on the Inquisitor. Nice. Lost that shield due to the prototype. So I guess let's talk about Reapers some while we wait for this to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so... You get that Reaper close to the board edge. It's a little scary. Oh, <laughs> like oh yeah. Like that Krennic. Um, but the nice thing is, yeah, those styles went down really fast. Okay. Yep. Uh, but you get that Krennic like where he is now. If you can fit the one bank, then any turn will fit as long as you're, you're it's 45. staring directly at the board yeah. edge before the bank. Um, just because if you do a turn, it doesn't actually move you forward at all. You it sideways. just slides you sideways and rotates you 90 degrees. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's true for large ships, too. It's mm -hmm. just much more important now that Reapers are around. So that, that means that when you're going towards the board edge... And if you're not at a 45, let's say you're less than a 45, yeah, yes. you're going to be sad. You got problems. Yeah. yeah. If you're more than a 45, it's extra fine. Yeah, exactly. There's that. Oh, there's a shocking one turn. Uh, I, he might have a jam on the Inquisitor. It's very No, he doesn't. Probably not. Regardless, he's just going to take a focus because he doesn't care a lot about the... Like, there aren't... And uh, Duncan doesn't have good shots this turn. The jam is mostly irrelevant. So it takes a focus. They're basically just trading turns of good positioning and hoping they come out ahead at this point. One bank. Aileron's yep. most likely seeing a fast move here. He's flipping the dial. Kind of looks like he pointed to a two hard, or a one hard. Wouldn't it be a two hard? No, that's yeah, a three bank. Okay. Probably just going to keep evading. You saw what I saw, though. Like He, he kind of pointed yeah. to where a turn would, would be. I think he was pointing towards where Ryan was going to land and double-checking he wasn't an idiot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've all done that before. Like, oh, oh that's oh. how this works. Whoops, I can't barrel roll Ryan out of the way and once the ship's in the way, I guess. Yep. So we'll I probably get, what, like a 3K out of Ryan? Uh, I four. imagine so. You have, a, you have the space for four. Yeah, uh, I think he probably wants to be as close as possible here, though. He's not. Oh, that's not true because he can't make it range one, but he doesn't want it to be range three. Yeah, there's the three. Yeah, some uh, Dutch and Twitch chat says, I think Duncan's hunting down Palp. They're both hunting down Palp. Yep. It's, no one's taking real damage until Palp is dead on both sides. I mean, just, just having that flexibility. Obviously, do you remember when the, when the first nerf happened and there was so many people that were saying that Palp was garbage? I do. Now? I do. It's still. Whoa, the Inquisitor totally disengaging. Interesting. 
He's trying to get on that, that flank. Yep. Um, wow, that's... That's really interesting. That's not what I expected to happen at all. Um, is it, he might be setting up just to get behind Suntir. If he boosts right, Suntir has a hard time catching him, but he's got a staring at a Reaper at range one, which seems less than optimal. Uh huh. So I'm. I, that's a very surprising. We'll have to see what actions he does here. He's just gonna stack it up. Um, Cause yeah, that Reaper is gonna make the Inquisitor's life next turn really difficult. It's almost all of his dials blocked, like trivially easily blocked. Um, oh, Suntir going a little fast. He might not be able to fit the boost barrel roll to get him. The barrel roll right will fit, but it's might be staring at a rock. And if he goes for it, he's doing it. So Yep. Just thinking about it. Yeah, the boost right will be very close for Ark. So we might see Bun have just super next level Duncan by like a millimeter, which would be impressive. There's also a good chance it just fits and Bun looks like an idiot. But <laughs> So, yeah, Tuntur could also, I mean, if, if he's deciding that it doesn't fit, you can just go ahead and take a shield yep. off of Ryad. Thanks for the shield, Ryad. Can I have another one later? And the nice thing the nice thing for Ryad here is that Reaper can't really block that uh, 5K, mm -hmm. 4K, 5K, whatever. He's going for it. Oh, Suntir. If this doesn't work, it will be really bad. But I it looks like his got straight it. is fine there. Yeah. He's going up as yeah, far going, as he can. He's confident. He's good now. He sees where his nubs are. That should have arc. It might be obstructed, but he'll have arc. He'll get the second shield no yeah, matter exactly. what. Yeah, exactly. He's got the shield. That's all he wants. Yeah. So, uh, again, uh, for anybody who's not familiar, just using the optimized prototype, you can spend any die after attacking to uh, remove a shield off the defender. Uh, the nice thing for the Inquisitor is he's mostly free. Even if he gets blocks next turn, he doesn't really care because Sutra can't follow him. Spends a blank. Hey, look at that. Three hits. Um, the question is, will Andrew Palpatine here? He does have another shot coming into him from the Krennic Reaper. Right. With a, with the target lock. Yeah. Or, or is that, that's Suntir's target lock. Uh, but so Krennic will get a target lock after. Okay, that is how that works. Yeah. Uh, if there's not a crit in there though, it might be time to just say, all right. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and Palpatine. All right, pal, spends and that, spend spends the the, Ooh, that hurts. That's so not what he wanted to come out, happen out of that. That's going to be a range two shot coming from the uh, coming from the Reaper. Yep, but we've got a whole lot of other stuff happening first. So the Inquisitor is going to shoot. Got uh, who's the hey, looks like three hits. Oh, it was a target lock. Yeah, just target lock. Rolls one. Lightweight frame. Yep. Nothing. So it's taking three, two shields, and a crit. Oh, it's a crit. And the crit is double damage. Thank Ooh. you for the hand signs there. <laughs> Did we make it two? I wasn't looking. Yeah. Nice. And, and that was on to the Krennic Reaper. Yeah, so the second one on your list there. Right, you go ahead and watch the screen while I do yeah, that. Yeah, I got you. So that actually changes things pretty significantly. Now both Reapers are pretty crippled. Here's Ryad yep. into the Palp Reaper. There's another crit there. So one... And then one, that's two more blanks. Yep. So hit, hit, crit. That could be really bad. All right. Okay, we'll get it. We we'll need the report the from the field. So a three went in there. So sitting at one hole with the Palp Reaper. That's, uh, no, uh, you, it's not three hole. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. Yeah. Down the four hole. <laughs> uh, he took three, so he's down to, should be down three. to two. Two. Yeah. It's a shaken pilot. Okay. Here's uh, one of the Reapers. Yep. He's going to spend the lock. Focus for three. And the quiz, I mean, if he, he blanks here, you could just die. Yep. There's two squiggles. He's going to be card. taking one at least. One That's crit. a crit. That looks like a major hole breach. <laughs> but I'm not sure. We'll get the report from the field. Yep. Here's Pop Reaper. Palp into Reaper the other Palp Reaper. Reaper on action. So 
Anything interesting going to happen here? That was loose stabilizer on oh, Inquisitor. Sure. <laughs> Completely irrelevant. Loose stabilizer only gives stress on white maneuvers, which the Inquisitor will never do. That is the three hard into the other Reaper. It looks like one, two, and evade. Takes no damage on that shot. Let's go ahead and update this health here. Oh, uh, wow. Duncan can totally and completely block Riot's K turn. Reapers can stop, <laughs> of course. Um, but what's really interesting is Duncan's Reapers really, like the, that Krennic Reaper, it's like, well, I might as well just finish it at this point. Like, I can just throw Riot at it for a turn and probably kill it. They're, I mean, they're both just so low. Does that make sense? Three. Should have four. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're good. I'm curious if uh, Andrew gets his weapons failure scare of face pilot back into the fight now. I mean, if you can trade shots with the other Palp Reaper and just take it off the table, try to yeah. get a range one shot. So it's interesting. So Andrew's in a situation where that uh, the Krennic Reaper can block any of the Inquisitor's moves, like every single one of them, um, including the three straight. But yep. the three straight would leave the Krennic Reaper stressed facing board edge, which where it would probably die to Riad. Um, so I don't know. What, like, which move do you try to block? Do you think Andrew's going to take the one bank right? Do, does he do the three straight? I'm sorry. I was typing while you asked. So ask no, me no. that question one more time. So looking at the Inquisitor's position, like obviously Duncan wants him dead. So he's going to two-turn soon tier, and he's going to block the Inquisitor with that Krennic Reaper. They can block any move on the Inquisitor's dial. Right. But to block the three straight, he has to aileron right and stall. At which point, he'd then have to, like, one turn and then two bank or something. Right. Uh, which is going to leave Riot open to just tear him, tear him to pieces. Yeah. Um, the, the turn, he's just going to turn in. Right. So do you dial the three straight knowing that Duncan knows that he doesn't want to do that block? Or do you dial the one bank because you think Duncan's going to dial the three straight because the three straight is safer? <laughs> uh, I mean, having a one-hole Inquisitor, I think you have to... I mean, there's. It's not like there's a correct answer. Yeah, <laughs> it's. I don't know. You're flipping a coin. You're just trying to get in, in their head and figure it out. Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't either. I'm glad I don't have to make the call. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yellow thing on the table is a Palpatine token. Ask yep. Twitch chat. So we there's the aileron right and the stall presumably, or it could just be a one turn right or left, not right. Probably, definitely not right. No, right. <laughs> I am going to assume that's a stall, though, because that might actually block the one bank as well. Ooh. No, he's turning around. Wait, oh, it's a sloop. Star Wars Armada players, we are putting up pairings for round four as well as the leaderboard. So the Please correct take a quick look at the leaderboard. Make sure everything correct. looks correct. If it is not <laughs> correct, come see us immediately. And immediately see us if it's not correct. Yes. All right. Anyways, so so Duncan chose none of the above, but now the Inquisitor, if he did the one bank... Doesn't have a shot. Yeah, Suntir can't, can't get that shot there. Mm -hmm. And Palpatine is... Whoa, he's all in on the Inquisitor. Riot, he, wa he wants to get him out. Yep, yeah, Riot can come in there and just tear this up now. Like, if it's a K-turn or a three-turn, Riot's like, okay, I'm in. Thank yeah. you very much. And Riot still has that target lock on Suntir, so they do not care about Lone Wolf. All right, so one bank, one bank. Yeah, probably going to go for the weapons failure clear. Yeah. Now that he has some time. Oh, one thing, three banks, sorry. Three I bank. saw he. Yeah, I got you. Pointed in that That's direction. That's a little faster than I thought it was going to go. Yeah, thought he, just, I thought he was going to get in that window. I think he was worried about everything switching to chasing him at the last second. There's no reason to try to engage with the weapons failure because you're just not going to hurt anything. He gets right, it. got it. That's not how my weapons failures work. <laughs> You will find that the weapon is a fully operational. That's really good for Andrew. Oh, Andrew, wow, takes the really, really risky four straight. I mean, obviously 4K, 4K but yeah. And he'll presumably uh, just take a focus there. He's scared of soon tier, and it's all the same. And again, he's got that three turn lined up next turn now. Yep. There it is. Focus of aid, stack it up. All right, and the Inquisitor, is it the one bank or is it the three straight? Is it the one bank left? That There's the real next level play. Oh, it's the three straight. So it's going to be an arc of the uh, that Reaper at range one. Yep. 
He's got the one turn open to him next turn. He could roll. I mean, do you really? You can't roll one forward. No, no I mean, he could roll right. He's going to try the boost. It's not going to work, but he's going to try it. No reason not to. Not happening. So Andrew, not happy about that. Nope. Um, Good call on Duncan's part. Yep. Getting that sloop in there. So now, yeah, I mean, we all know Sutcher's doing the two turn, right? So the nice part about the bank is, you know, he would have, it would have worked. But again, we're in coin flip territory here. So he's going to barrel roll just, you know, now at least he has enough dice to survive. Yeah. And then boost. Yep. And just clear as much distance as he can. It's not going to fit, but it's worth a shot. Not quite. So he'll take the target lock evade. Probably. Yeah, that's the only way you can survive if yeah. rolls four. So, uh, so it's interesting because the Inquisitor's going to die, and presumably Palpatine's also going to die. Mm -hmm. Uh, Palpatine's a four, not three. Never mind. So, do you pro? Do you use the does does Duncan use Palpatine offensively on this turn? I assume he does. This is the best shot he's going to get on the Inquisitor over the course of the entire game. Forgetting to reveal dials. Very common with Reapers because, oh, he might have gotten himself into a position where Sintra doesn't have a shot here. That boost is going to be That's going to be a little, bit, a little, little bit wide. Yeah, he might be able to roll behind him. But again, now Sintra is the one that's stressed facing the board hedge. So he'll go for the boost. Do it very carefully at that. And yeah, he's got half a template behind it. So he'll be able to just slot in right behind the Inquisitor there and have plenty of room. But that's four dice with no target lock. So no target lock. Totally modified besides probably Palpatine before well, he'll have Palp the, dice. He'll have the focus. But uh Oh sorry, yeah. His ability. Uh but yeah, I mean you absolutely palpatine in a crit here. Mm-hmm. And you know, uh Andrew, like seeing four coming in, you probably don't even palpatine on defense. It's like, well, it's just not worth it. the odds of rolling two natural are yeah. just so slim. Uh, oh, that's four. Yep. No palp used there. Oh, he, so he is going to use it. It's I, I suppose it, it's worth trying. Acquires a target lock. Can he roll two? I see two right there. Safe. Palp. He lives. So now he's got absolutely nothing for this Reaper shot at range two. That Reaper only has a target lock. It's possible. Has a tar target lock Palpatine if this palp shuttle doesn't die. Oh, yes. Sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, and this palp shuttle is probably not going to die. Uh, spends two, spends for two. First uh, rolls roll. one. Looks like a squiggle. Rolls one. Looks like not a squiggle. Uh, had an evade token, so no yep. damage. All right, here we go. Range two from that Reaper into the Inquisitor. Yep. He's gonna pop in a crit or a hit. Disrespect, whatever. Uh, so he he has to change it first, Duncan. That's how the rules work. Target yep. blocks two. Gets Is that three. It's two. That's cocked, sure. Gets three. That's presumably the end of the Inquisitor. I think it's only two. I think that's a uh -oh. eyeball. Oh. I can't it see. It doesn't matter. There's two blanks there. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. He took two still. Yeah. All right. Inquisitor off the table. 68 minutes left. Oh, my. Uh, but So now this is Bun's positioning here uh, in comparison. is just absolutely fantastic. He lost the Inquisitor there, which, uh, so what's interesting is if he had palped, if he had saved Palpatine on offense, he would have gotten a crit through on the Palp Reaper. I wonder what his odds of surviving that shot were with and without Palp for it to be, to, for it to have been worth it, basically. But I guess if the Inquisitor died on the first shot, the Reaper would have had Palpatine for defense and not take a damage still. So it actually just didn't matter at all. Mm -hmm. So Riot has an uphill battle now. Uh, Suntir has four health left. Only thing he's lost is that shield from Optimized Prototype, which is essentially just a bonus. Yep. It's cool. Thanks for the shield. I'll yeah. take it. And uh, we did talk about earlier that in an endgame where Riot is still alive and Suntir is alive, we are at a... Uh, That's a bit of a stalemate. Yeah. And, I mean, Suntir can't keep up with Riot's chain three and five Ks. Yeah. It is very difficult to keep... <laughs> to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So uh, Duncan most likely will will try to. I mean, I guess you. 
I suspect we'll see the Krennic Reaper die this turn, and then the Palp Reaper will very quickly follow for both for the for both players actually. So with with those Reapers on Death's door, what is their role the next couple turns? They have to just try to get shots, right? Yeah, it's hope kill each other's Reapers, which is very silly. Like I'm gonna trade my Reapers for your Reapers, um, but I mean, so Krennic for Pal uh, for Duncan is at what? Four hull? Yeah, so Palpatine's yeah. at three, Krennic's at four. So, yeah, you can see him just book, try, go, getting ready to book it. Yep. The evade action will be yep. used. There it is, evade. Oh, wow, really, really fast from Duncan. Ben dropping things. So he's blocked his own Palp Reaper? It seems like it. I mean, that's effectively, like, he effectively has stunned Pilot for that. I mean, he just doesn't have an evade token now that yeah. he would. And it's just plus one hull every turn. So I bet we'll see a one straight, one turn left, or... Uh, oh, is Andrew? Andrew's playing the time game. He just he's gonna make Duncan chase it. Okay. I kind of like it uh, I because mean, Riot's gonna, Riot's gonna kill those Reapers, right? Yeah, it's for just sure. a matter of time. Oh, interesting. Okay, I retract my statement. It's kind of an interesting. Uh, not sure what Andrew's going for here. Kind of set up. In, he's set up in a 50-50 position to mm -hmm. either uh, continue engaging uh, on that top left hand of the board or disengage, uh, going yep. towards the bottom. There's a three turn. Can't see the dial. It's a three turn. Everybody knows it. Yep. He'll just take a focus. So this is one of those where generally you target lock here. He has lone wolf. So he's got the rerolls built in. No one's no one is shooting him. Soontir is going to two turn right. Uh, I imagine the Scarif is just there to make Soontir a little scared to go turn in on Ryad. Yep. So hard to clearing the stress. Thank you to Brent Wong for those steady hands. Those beautiful hands. Fancy watch, Brent Wong. I assume it's a fancy. I don't know anything about watches. We'll call it fancy, easy. Oh, the vendor hall just closed, so it may be getting loud here for a second. Yeah. As everyone files out. I don't wear watches. They hurt my wrists. I'll hurt your wrists. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so I'm curious to see if we see Suntir go to trade shots with that Scarif pilot or not. I imagine he won't bother. Although he's kind of in the way of his own Reapers here. Armada players, we are starting time on round four. Round four is beginning for Armada. Yes, it is. For those of you who are just tuning in, we are broadcasting from the Gen Con uh, yeah, gaming like the convention. main hall here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little loud. Yeah. So thank you for uh, your patience. So Suntir is still picking his actions here. Looks like he's going to go for the roll. Interesting. Just clearing room for his Reaper's maneuvers, presumably. Yep. I love Twitch chat, Dion. I love it. It's fun. If you're not drawing animals, what's the point? So, man, Suntir, I mean, he's, he has auto thrusters. He has a focus. But is this shot really worth it? That Scarif doesn't have shields, and now it can block everything. And just trying to trying to dig in damage. Yep. He's not going to... The, the Scarif Pilot's not going to do damage to Suntir. Yeah, well, I guess he's trying to get him to use Palp on defense here is really the... Yeah. Uh, takes a focus with uh, Suntir's ability. Yep. Look to be a range three shot with a focus. He also has four hull. He might just... Bang. I don't I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Dun Duncan uh, is known to take some calculator risks. If he, he feels... It, he. I feel like he feels sometimes. He just, he, <laughs> he he just, just knows. Yeah. Well, this isn't much of a... The, the, 
if Suntir doesn't spend his focus on offense here, he's, you know, four dice, focus, auto thrusters against an unmodded three die shot. It's mostly just meaningless. All so right. he's, oh, spends the focus. Spends the focus for two. I'm two. telling you, he, he wants it. So he's, he's looking at three dice basically saying, I don't believe you roll an evade, but Bun gets to roll two and then decide to Palpatine afterwards. So yeah. the odds of this doing anything are just nothing because he has an evade. It's the only shot. So Andrew's thinking about Palpatining because he's tired, but there's no reason Palpatine the first two dice. Well, what it does take but away. Andrew, incorrect. I'll have to go yell at him after the game. <laughs> no, they totally hasn't played how many rounds of X-Wing now? Six plus Yep. whatever, whatever this is. Twelve. This is round 12 of the yep. tournament. No excuses, Dion. <laughs> Get good or die trying. He's going to take the lone wolf for a blank. So that's one less damage on this Palp Reaper than he would have had. Spends a focus, or the evade. Yep, takes nothing. Nada. So yeah, one missed crit on the Reaper, basically. Yeah. Painful. Alrighty. This is into Sunter. Oh, that's a lot of blanks. Auto thrusters. All right, he's cock die. He's fine. Duncan, he only had two results dice. anywhere. Yeah. So with uh, 60-33 left in the match, let's go ahead and get uh, get one more pull here. Yeah. Duncan or Andrew. You're picking your the player most likely to win you think here not yeah, your most favorite. likely to win yeah. not a not a you know handsomeness cost or contest because <laughs> we all know who would win that yes obviously yeah not even a question jaron foss <laughs> amen <laughs> comes in swoops it up takes it back to criminal island Who do you think is going to take this? One for Andrew, two for Duncan. That's your voting. We still got 60 minutes left of the round. Lots can happen in 60 minutes. The real question is, if Duncan wins this, are you ready to live in that world? It's 1.0. It doesn't matter. That's fair. <laughs> Don't, I, he will not let you forget that you won it, though. Now he'll have his BB-8 templates. Yep. I guess they mattered. Look, 2.0. Here's my BB-8 templates and my Poe templates. Correct. Just more to the rainbow. All right. So we're at the... F Looks like to be f the vote seems to be favoring Duncan currently. Thank you to Slam Dunk 74 for your two months in a row Twitch Prime subscription. So how are you feeling about Ryad this turn? Do you three turn right? Do the, the boring obvious move? Do you take the one bank right? That's much harder to block, but you don't have an evade? You know, we haven't seen... I'm not... I'm saying this. I'm going to preface this by saying not that he can't, but he just hasn't yet. Right. We haven't seen Duncan use the the reapers as a blocker yet right which haven't seen it happen so it might just be uh, a, f a frame of uh, a frame of mind like mm -hmm. duncan's just like meet shots give me I, shots yeah, give me shots um and it's just kind of that that thing does does andrew believe <laughs> that duncan will put it put it out there we would know if it was zach up there we'd hear the on the chair yelling i don't believe you from here but it's andrew so it's reserved yep and we'll never know correct so I was talking to Andrew after the last game as we had a, a slight diversion to pray to the Natty Gods. Um, <laughs> and uh, he was saying in his last game how many one banks he should have done because he assumed that the X-Wings were going to block the one banks because the one banks were safer. So he did the fast moves. He was like one level too deep. Oh my, I agree. Okay, um, so I, 
this really, like, Duncan has a lot of interesting moves. I can't believe he self-blocked himself with the Reapers. That was so weird, but it's probably just fatigue at this point. No, I don't think he did. He remember he had the evade token? Oh, gotcha. It's, it's Krennic's cape that yes, kind of makes it right. throw it off. You're right. Is this going to be the one turn right? Is he going all in on Ryad? No. no. Oh, he's just going to feed him. the If he if Ryad does that three turn, he's hungry. But, man, if Ryad dies, or if... Uh, so that's going to bump. Oh, wow. That's no good. Because that Reaper is at what? Four health? Three health? Krennic's at four. Yes. Yep. Four. Uh, yeah, depending on what Andrew has dialed in, he can aileron around that really easily. I ex expect Duncan's just going to go wide here. No, is this going to this is going to bump too? All right, yeah, he was expecting that two straight to fit. He was. So maybe that that fatigue uh, starting to settle in. Yep. That's that is very big. Those, that, oh, that fits. No, well, does it? I it looked like it did. I think he. He just pulled, we pulled it out. out. Okay. Yeah. So it it looked like it had like a nice that. little boom. Yeah. All right. So there's the aileron in over the rock. Just as a reminder, um, ailerons going over rocks don't count as your main maneuver hitting a rock, so you still yep. get the action. You Until don't. he pulls a damage sensor array off it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I has to roll for it, and uh, is an eyeball. Let's see what's in the box. Looks like a... Two bank? Two straight. Two straight. There it is. He's coming for one of those Reapers. He'll probably lose. Oh, his, he is at what, five? And those are unmodded shots into him. Yep. Uh, Suntir won't be helping. Uh, Suntir, wh where is Suntir going? Hard two to the right to meet Ryad. Looks like he's just going to take the focus here. We're going to see some Reapers die. You ready? Yep. <laughs> some fireworks. Is it the three turn? Is it the one bank? It's, it's the, the three, three turn. turn. Yeah, so Andrew didn't believe him. He so didn't. Andrew yeah, sat, sat on the top of his mountain and said, I don't believe you. Looks so he'll just barely have uh, range on the Krennic, like. yeah. Or arc, excuse me. Right. And that is a sad Krennic Reaper. Uh, the question is, will he barrel roll back for the other one? I doubt it. He'd rather just have the focus here. Oh, he is. Oh, he's going he's, for it. He's he, hungry for Palpatine. He wants the Palpatine. Give him to me. My Palpatine is the real Palpatine. Get this one out. That'll save him from Sutir, though, more importantly. I think that's the real motivation here. He just wants to keep every shield he can get because he's going to have to take some sh take some shots to kill whichever Reaper here is second. And Palpatine only has three hole left. Andrew still holding on to that template. There you go. It's committed to his decision. So it is an unmodified four die shot into Palpatine. It really, oh, Suntir's just out. Wow. Suppose Duncan, I'm winning. There's no reason to take risks. Right. I'll uh, worry about this later, but it does mean that, man, our Andrew shot's better here. Yep. That is Andrew has, is, is on the offensive side here for sure. Ooh. There's an. Another really interesting boost. That's not the direction I expected Duncan to be going. He wants to loop around. He wants yeah. to attack again. And then again, I mean, soon tier has more health than he usually has. So yes, it, that is I, a I think four health soon tier. So previously five. Correct. I mean, Duncan, I think, is just playing it just more aggressive than he would normally. Mm -hmm. This isn't, uh, you know, pal paces against jump masters. No, where you have to stay, you know, stay back and pick them off. Yeah, you have you to know? just run forever. Right. Kill one and wait for time. Yep. They are double checking health, which helps us. <laughs> yes, Palpatine does have three left. Uh, I is, I imagine he's popping a crit on the offense of Riot because he wants to kill it before it shoots. Yep. And if he can if he can tag it for four, then he can PS kill it. Yep. There, he doesn't have any uh, offensive modifiers though. Nope. All he's got is Palpatine. Palpatine. That's it. There he's, he's grabbing it. He's grabbing the pal. Yep. It's so unlikely that this works, but if it works, the payoff is it's ridiculous because he could kill both. If oh Ooh, wow, that's, that's four. Yep. Three and a crit. He, he needs two. Yep. So Duncan's gonna roll one, and probably oh that's oh. a blank. He'll palp and evade, presumably. 
Well, not if it it would have died no matter what because the oh, first one was a blank. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So wow, Palp that is, is huge. off the table. And now these Reapers are going to trade shots. Wait, we had the health wrong. Did we? I think so. No, he's no. Got it. Okay. okay, he's just double. Oh, but he attacked Krennic. He shot Krennic. Okay, interesting. Why, why barrel roll then? Uh, I think he was scared of Sintir. He didn't want the shield taken from oh, Sintir. Okay. But now these Reaper shots to range two. Actually, that's very interesting. Popping the crit here from yep. Duncan. Uh, looks like hit hit crit into the opposite Reaper. Yep. Sitting currently at five hull. Oh, he's way more health than I thought. Spending evade. Or focus, right? Uh, spending focus. Takes a crit. Takes which a crit. Is, help me, Twitch chat. Save me, Dutch. Dutch, what is it? So that doesn't matter. That was the old one. Yeah, those were the old crits. Uh, so now we've got the unmodded shot. Oh, Andrew rolling paint bun. Gets two. This Reaper is going to roll two because it doesn't matter. Gets one of eight. Takes one. So he'll be down to one left. Uh, Andrew's left, has sorry. loose stabilizer. Oh, that is painful. So he's going to have to take a green move and flip that, or he's never doing maneuvers again. Yep. But that hurt because he really, like, he might have wanted to do the sloop here, but now he just can't. He can't. But he does have the aileron straight, get a stress, painful, two bank left, open. It's yeah. just not the most pleasant thing in the world. For those of you who are not familiar with loose stabilizer, <laughs> I'm tired. After you execute a maneuver, uh, after you execute a white maneuver, receive one stress token, and the ailerons is a white maneuver, which is why uh, it does hurt the Reaper there. Duncan's palp has council fire. Oh, that's actually a surprisingly big deal. I mean, that if if Duncan is unwilling to take the three and eight every turn, he's losing an evade token. Uh, so basically, it depends on how many turns he thinks his palp reaper is going to survive. Yep. As to whether or not it makes sense to flip the crit. Yes, a uh, loose stabilizer does apply on the ailerons, which is what makes it so outrageously, extremely, roughly, awfully painful. Yep. It is like the worst thing ever. And he could, you know, ailerons straight, three bank, and just leave. Mm -hmm. But he'll be stressed. He'll have to, like, two bank and then have enough room to not aileron off the board, and I'm not sure that he will. So, so now the question is basically, can Duncan kill that palp? Because, I mean, Krennic is in a rough spot here, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, right. So Riot is basically guessing one bank right or 5K. Yep. Uh, and both are perfectly fine options. So, I mean, with uh, with this determination, are we going to final salvo, you think? Oh. It, it feels like it, right? Oh, no. Not like that. How long can this go on? I mean... Yeah, I, it's it's a very likely scenario. I mean, not you know, it's not like a higher than coin flip, but yep. it's a the the probability is rising. Um, if Duncan or if Andrew can kill Director or Duncan's Palp Reaper before his own dies, he's in much better shape because that Palp Reaper can run from soon tier very well. Duncan's Palp Reaper might have a little less health on it than we think. Okay. Because he has a console fire, which we didn't even catch. Uh, let's close this. I can go check that one. Well, we just need total total health. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, people are nervous to go up and get close, which is always very appreciated. But one, two, three, four. Is that a crit or is that a card? <laughs> what do you mean? No, that this is a crit for oh, sure. Okay. What's the crit? He has two crits on him. Oh, the direct. That's the direct from the beginning. So he has one hole left. Or yeah. is that or is that pop or is that Krennic that's dead? Uh no, sorry. Wait, what? He's only got one card on? Did damage get put on the wrong ship at some point? It might have. Or we we might have just missed a shot too. Yeah. I'm going to assume that they know what's going on. Yep. So console fire. All right. So actually, this is interesting because this isn't this. So this is basically. Um, so uh, Duncan is saying, "I bet you one banked, right, or three banked, or something." Okay. No, there you go. He oh, he got it sorted. Okay. 
they're, they're just worse stacked. So it yeah. looks like there's one, two, three. There are four cards. He has two hell left. Okay. And All a right, console we, fire. We got Which it. he flipped just yes. now. Gotcha. We're not crazy. Nope. Yay. No, we just like to double check. I mean, all, right. all we have is this image. So we're getting a stress here where I'm going to quickly run over and correct the board state. It might just be a one straight, three straight. That's very close to the board edge, but he's good. And that clears the stress from the loose stabilizer. Yep. And he'll probably just take an evade there because uh, Sunterfell is coming. Do, 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 do. Soon tear fell. Yep, there's the evade. Uh, he'll be stressed at the end of next turn because he'll have to one bank and then like one turn. Yep, there's Ryad called. So Duncan nicely evades it. Uh, and he'll have to barrel roll here so he can take a turn and try again later. Yep. <laughs> Dio and trying to make money on the side. Almost successful. 50-yard penalty for failure. Uh, yeah, Andrew's really not happy about that maneuver. We're still picking maneuver on ride. It's going to be the barrel roll, so he can just set up the 2K or the 3K next turn. Yep. Looks like 2K is probably makes the most sense. He's, I'm surprised he doesn't want to go back further, honestly, so that he can have just as much room as possible. Though he might be three banking next turn. It all really just depends on what Duncan's Palp Reaper is doing. Yep. Well, Duncan's Palp Reaper might be, uh, do you think, engaging the other Reaper in I that top so. right corner? Yeah. Ail Ailerons and then hard turn? Yep, he'll he'll be stressed for it, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, not, Dun not Duncan's. No, uh, Andrews. Andrews. Yeah. Andrew will be. Yeah, that's the the loose stabilizer. There, there is kind of painful. It'll save him a damage here. He'll take a damage for it later, which is not a bad trade. So soon, tier probably coming up the board to uh, attack the Reaper. Yep, he'll go. He'll presumably just boost. Oh, barrel roll then boost. He wants to get into range too. Yeah. He'll have the focus from the stress. Yep, he'll palp in a crit. Andrew will palp in an evade. <laughs> Very little will happen. Yep. He might sneak one in. I mean, that's what oh, yeah. you have to do at this point, he'll right? He'll definitely you get one in. Well, probably will get one in, unless he rolls two blanks. Uh, but, yeah. Palp. There you go. Don't need palp, don't want it. Two hits and a crit. So Andrew now has to, this is where lightweight frame is so painful because you roll these dice separately. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if this were an X-Wing with two agility and you just rolled two dice and then palp, it would be significantly better than rolling one and then rolling one. So he'll roll one, That's gets the evade. natural evade, w technically wasted palp. And got it. Is that a oh, third evade? no damage. Easy. Where's my easy clap? That target lock on Suntir is still from Riot. Yeah, they just haven't moved it over yet. Well, it's fine. They know. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> man, this has officially gotten silly. Uh, because that that is a two health Palp Reaper mm -hmm. and a four health Palp Reaper. Um, do you think Andrew is? Gonna just dial in the one turn. I mean, I assume that Duncan is just running with the power. Paper. I think. I assume. No, I don't know. Running. I think you just you you have to crash in on it. Take it out. Take out Andrews. You mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's coming for he's, it. He's hungry. Get the booty. Feed me. He know he knows that Riot's gonna gonna turn 2K, around. Yeah. I mean, and Riot's gonna catch Duncan's power reaper. But once it's just Riot shooting, it's way way harder to do damage. But you know, in return. Andrew's going to, he's presumably aileroning in and one turning as well. Mm -hmm. So these Palp Reapers might just kill each other this turn. He might take an evade here if he's, if he, no, that's a focus. Yep. They just poked at that random target lock in the middle of the board. 
shiny. Yeah, they, they'll get it sorted. That's on suit here. They know. So Ryad probably going to just do a 2K here, I would assume. Oh, sorry. We have to watch the Reaper one so here, back. So here's a stress. Yep. It might actually just be a two-turn. Oh, no, it's too big. Uh, no shot. Andrew? Andrew, that's a board edge, sir. S system opening his way as hard as he can. I think he's good there, but it's very close. Yeah, he's good. Not having a shot here is actually a big deal, especially if Riot's out of range. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Riot totally disengaging. Andrew here might, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but he might have given the game to Duncan right here. This <laughs> is the, this, I'm serious. This, this turn could be it. Yep. You take the Reaper with no consequences. I think he was expecting Duncan to run with the Reaper, not come back in. Mm-hmm. So he'll presumably just grab a lock, I assume. Like, I don't know what else you would You could barrel roll, but it's irrelevant. He might want to barrel roll to the left in order to... Well, we do. We have the... The Telestrator. We have Telestrate the, me, Captain. Yep, grabs we, the target lock. Yeah. The, save that one for later. The other idea I was thinking is if you barrel rolled this way, right, mm -hmm. he would just give himself some more space to do different things in this direction. That's exactly how X-Wing ship moves, by the way. Facts. All right, looks like he's got the lock. Yep. Save it for later. We'll probably see the K-turn next turn. Yeah, or the three-turn right. now. Nah, three-turn right's terrible. Don't listen to me. That's why I was saying, if he had done the barrel roll back, the three-turn would have worked. Soonter coming in, probably range one. Yep. Though, the funny thing is, this is not, that, like, it's surprisingly not bad for Andrew. Because, I mean, he has that top shot from the Reaper looks like range two or three. Soonter's shot's going to be range two. He has Palp. He has an evade token. He has two and three dice. Like, these Reapers are so tanky. They're yep. deceptively, ridiculously tanky. Oh, the angle boost. Interesting. He's been uh, going to roll back, I assume. Yep. Giving himself some space for next turn. Doesn't yep. go all the way forward. Still range one. Gets the focus from the stress from push to limit. Palps Palp. the crit. He's hungry. Four dice. Oh. There it is. Three hits and a crit. He he has to take one here. Yeah. Probably two, maybe even three. Oh, he pops the second. Did he get it right? Is that an evade? Uh, I can't tell. No. Nope, that's a blank. All right. Then he's uh, I think it's an eyeball. He palps an evade blank. at some point. Yeah. yeah. Focus. There's it. Palped. Takes hit crit. Yep, hit crit, uh, down to two. We'll see what the crit is. It's a card that we'll, we'll, our sideline reporter will let us know. That's going to be range three. This is a much harder shot. Two. Spend the focus for two. So he's got three dice to roll and evade to live another turn, basically. Uh, there were no evades on that. I think he died. Down he goes. So the crit doesn't matter in the end. It's amazing that all their ships are worth the exact same amount of points by sheer happenstance. Yep. <laughs> well, one of them's the same ship, so it's not sheer happenstance, but. So I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff around. I'm going to move yep. Riot to the top. And the funny thing is, Riot can totally finish off that Reaper. Oh, it's yeah. It's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of how long it's going to be. Uh, it's just going to be painful to hurt and evade Palpatine Reaper every turn. <laughs> <laughs> the memes in the chat are mm -hmm. quite hilarious right now. <laughs> the angry fist. Yeah. So I imagine we'll see Soontir come in now and do about three shields worth of damage to Riot, if I had to guess. Yeah, I mean, the and optimized prototype doing its work. Yep. <laughs> that might be it for a while. Yep. So I imagine he won't be palping in crits because he'll need them for defense. As for what these guys are playing for, they're playing for a paid trip.
to Worlds, their flight and hotel completely paid for. And to say they are the top crate for the year, the National Crate Championship, International, inter, Intercon, what is this called? North American Crate the, Championship. The North American Championship at Gen Con. I'm just saying. 2018. How long has it been since someone else won? It's been a while. You guys got to get your act together. Two years. <laughs> Oh, Duncan going much slower than I expected. I guess, I mean, Riot has to K-turn now, so yeah. there's no reason to rush it. Make Riot K-turn. Oh, the 5K. Just wants more room for Duncan to have to go fast, I, guess, I suppose. Yep. Other things just gives him more options and where to engage from. Yep. Because he can uh, get a beat on where that Reaper is going to be going. So, rock move there. Burn it down. Call six judges. DQ both <laughs> players. It's all <laughs> over. The sacred game state is ruined. Did he block his own tune tier? Because that would be hilarious. Uh, hard. The least. Oh, it's a hard two. Hard okay. two. On the rock. Dead. Major, major, direct. Easy. <laughs> Forgets to palp it. No problem. All right. There's the barrel roll. And we should have an engagement here. Soon tier versus Ryad. The Countess versus the Baron. <laughs> Titles matter. No matter who wins, we lose. The Legend versus... The what? Countess. Is, is this, that hurt? What'd you say? What's her... What's her... Uh, her subtitle. Is it the Countess? I think it's just the Countess. Let's see. To Wikipedia. Countess Ryad. I don't know that my internet's going to work well enough for this to work. We'll see. Oh, there we go. Countess Riot, human, female, Imperial politician, and Starfighter Ace. All right, that's going to take a long time to load a lot of pictures there. We just want to know the subtitle. I know. That's all we want to know. Oh. The, like, second edition subtitle. Yeah, second edition subtitle. Oh. All right, I got you. I, I knew all that other stuff about it. Of her. course you did. I'm a nerd. Nerd. <laughs> As we go into this, I want to remind you guys to click that Twitch Prime su subscription button. It's free if you have Amazon Prime, and it donates $2 and change to the Gold Squadron podcast. You can do that every 30 days. It's literally free money. Literally free money if you have Amazon Prime. All right, Twitch chat saved us. It's Cutthroat Politico. That's familiar. Uh, that sounds right. The Cutthroat Politico versus the Ace of Legend. He's a legend. How could anyone stand a chance? He's also very optimized. Five forward. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Soon is going to take a shot. Probably range three obstructed. The dream <laughs> into Lone Wolf Riad. Yep. Lone Wolf, uh, as long as there's no friendly ships at range one to two, which there are no friendly ships. There are no ship. other friendly ships. So he gets a reroll. A uh, oh, range maybe range two obstructed. Only four dice on that right. Basically, Lone Wolf is basically just an extra die. Yeah, I suspect that attack will do exactly one shield. Mm -hmm. Just a hunch. Thank you, Francois X Wing, for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. I suspect Duncan's just gonna focus because there's. No reason to do anything else. Yeah. Oh. Oh no no he he's, he, he says interesting. Where are we going, Duncan? Au contraire. Teach me. Teach me, Duncan. I'm. I really don't understand. Now he's, he can't turn. He's going for the bank. Yeah, but now he here. what? Poor K? What? Now he can't turn again. So Riad's gonna make a clean escape <laughs> after this. I guess he's losing. He wants the more damage this turn. I think he just maybe. Maybe Duncan's just giving it up. He said, you're going to get my Reaper. I need to get into a position to get offensive. To actually do damage. Yeah, because if, if he can take advantage of Riot facing away mm -hmm. while Riot is chasing uh, uh, pow the Pal Reaper. There's two. Like Riot takes the shield. Two damage coming in. So he has to roll four blanks in a row. One, two. Rerolls one. Three. Three. Focus. Evade. Fine. Whatever. If he can spend both, he's good. Yeah. He did his best, but he got took a shield on Raya. Yep. 32 minutes left in the round. Cutthroat political. That's I don't even know what that means, but I'm scared. I'm afraid. That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
just one of those women you just you really don't mess with her. Bex. She has an evade and advanced sensors. Yes. And is angry. <laughs> so how do you, what do you do about Ryad's three bank here? The Suntir can't do anything about it. There's a rock in the way. No, I mean the action on the Reaper is gonna be evade, no doubt. Yes. That's what we know for sure. And it they can one bank and then three straight, but that shouldn't block it. Does the this, does the one bank towards the board edge fit for the uh, the reaper? For the reaper? Yeah, he's got all the and he can one turn. One turn, just be as far away as possible, evade, yeah. and he could also he one, have extra die. one bank right aileron onto the rock and just be harder to catch because then no, soon, or Countess would Suntis is what I almost said. <laughs> this might just be a stall too because yeah. Nope, he's just gonna slow roll. Yeah, he just wants to trade shots, um, at least make it long range. The problem is he does this, and then Ryad has the the 5K, but the Reaper has tricks of its own, <laughs> so. There's a three bank. We get that focus evade again, most likely. Yep, and be safe from Soon Tears. Wrath for a turn. No shields. Fell's Wrath? Day. What? Yeah. Fell's Wrath. Pour one out for Fell's Wrath, by the way. May he rest in peace. He was abducted by Death Fire. <laughs> Focus evade. Soon tier. Two straight. What? Who? Two bank. Uh, mm, Duncan. Uh, yes, correct. That is a rock. Strong. I mean, I think he's just trying to crit. Is that a hit? That was a crit. Oh, it is a crit. What is? Oh. I hear applause. I heard I heard things. If that's a damaged cockpit, we're about to have a really short game. Yeah. Actually, I don't even know that Countess could even kill him still, but... Damage engine. Oh, Again. Wrecked. Again. Well, this game just changed dramatically. Absolutely. Now, if did. Andrew kills Riot, it's absolutely a salvo at worst. I just don't understand why he didn't pop it there. Like, well, he wants to palp this. There's it, two blanks. Is that so? That's one hole left on that. Takes one. Yep. Down to one hole on the, on the palp reaper and a damaged engine soon tier. Oh my! That's just exhaustion setting, and I imagine but Duncan knows where his maneuvers land. Yep. <laughs> he can attest. Riot doesn't even. Oh, did, did he roll green dice? Is that, or just spin the evade disrespect? Yeah. Oh my, soon tier. How the tide, how the turntables. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, damage engine makes it so that all hard turns are red. Soon fell being a push to limit ace, boosting barrel roll and getting that stress, being wants to do those hard turns. You want to get that extra motion. And being able to combine the hard turn plus the boost every turn, I mean, just gives you uh, lots of mobility, and his mobility has now significantly yeah. gone He's now down. a push-the-limit X-Wing. Yes, <laughs> he is a push-the-limit X-Wing. Still has the agility, but man, can he not move anymore. So I expect we'll see Duncan's Palp Reaper try to run down that same side of the board he's on, just so Riot's incoming ultimate 5K that's happening, and we all know it. Yep. Um, is doesn't catch him. Yeah, there's no way that the Palp Reaper can block him, right? The 5K? No. Yeah. He'd have to figure out how to go backwards. If he if he had... Uh, I'm, I'm a quad jumper, baby. <laughs> if he had, uh, what's it called? Vector thrusters, he might be able to. But, mm. yeah. I've actually seen a surprising amount of that out there. It's more reasonable than you think on Vermile. Just start, there's so many arcs out there. If you have Vermile with a bid, you start barrel rolling out of arcs. is very silly. Mm. <laughs> Strong comment, Twitch chat. Snatching defeat out of the jaws of the final salvo. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. That's very fair. And to anybody watching in the future, uh, Duncan and uh, and Andrew, Chris, and I, we're all good friends. It's all all in good fun. There is this is not a oh there's no <laughs> there's no actual disrespect. Andrew and Duncan both super don't care who wins. Right. <laughs> it's they were they were like oh we made top eight that was that was it I don't care yeah, right. here I mean the the trip is really nice for both of them obviously yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that's about it. They both get a trophy at this point. There isn't – I don't even think you design a card anymore, do no. you? No. You get an alt art? I don't even think you get that. <laughs> Downgraded. Marcel was the last one Yep. Uh, that they gave 
the card. Yep. And it was thrust corrector, and they waited uh, two years to release it. Yep. And now it's going away. I imagine there's a story there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yep. Oh, he's just running, so he will. Oh, oh there it is. Direction. That seems. Uh, mm, uh, er, okay, he's good, I think. But the K turn should be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the Riot K turn. I'm looking at that aileron and questioning it. No, you're good. You're good. All day. Easy. Every day. So Riot's going to K turn. Will he get the arc afterwards is the question. And do you even want it, or would you rather just focus for Soontir and tell him to go away for a bit? Too hard left. Get a focus for Suntier. Oh, <laughs> oh. Speaking of snatching defeat out of the out of the jaws of the final salvo. Thank you to uh, Jan Bulda for becoming a tw uh, tier one subscriber. Ooh, he is going to take the barrel roll. Wants the shot. I wonder if he's willing to spin the target lock on this shot. And he's been carrying it around for a while. Yeah, I'm not even sure he has arc there. Doesn't look like it. He had to try. Two bank from soon tier, I'm assuming. Yep. His engines are looking awfully damaged. Just probably gonna sit there, focus evade, all that good stuff, and just stack up. Take that shield. Thank you for the shield. Oh, so he didn't have range yet. Okay. No, so is he gonna? Is Duncan gonna boost into arc? Is he a crazy person? He, I mean, will I boost into you know not have an evade? No. Okay. What? Mm -hmm. well, he's good. All right. So we have range now. Here we go. Spend the result. Take a shield. <laughs> yeah. Don't care about the rest of the dice. Thanks for the shield. Plenty of results. Yep. Doesn't matter. Oh, apparently it is an arc. Oh, they're checking. Something. Oh, holding down ships. Brent Wong. Oh, it's getting closer. It is very close. Oh, it's, now it's over it. Is it? I can't tell. I think it's touching the bottom of the base. Looks like it's just out. Safe. <laughs> Just opts to not shoot Suntir. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Wants more time. So, Andrew just accepting the final salvo. <laughs> this is how. Oh, he is going to take the shot. Two hits. Two hits, can't possibly hit. Soon tier at range three with two hits and Palpatine and evade. Spend it all, spend yep. everything. Get like six, whatever. So I mean, the, the maneuvers that Duncan has available to him that are green in the oh. TIE Interceptor are the two banks, your two, three, and four straight. Yep, That's and the faster, the faster straight start getting scary because he can't turn afterwards Right. if he pushes. So I think most of the uh, you know, most of the maneuvers we're going to see here are probably going to be two speed. Yep, I, I imagine we'll see Ryad just three bank and barrel roll to make Suntir go away for a bit. As we're getting ready for dials here, I want to remind you guys that you can uh, support the Gold Squadron podcast by becoming a patron. It's the largest group of supporters that we have, and none of this is possible without them. We've been able to travel around the country this year. I've been to something like. 12 different cities. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, so if you want to become a part of that, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. And uh, like Chris says, you know, give me the, the quote unquote dirty internet money. Filthy internet dollars, That's baby. That's right. They're not going to make themselves. No, they do not. Duncan giving us his best running for time impersonation. He's got 22 minutes to run from Riyadh and not take any damage. I'm not sure if I believe in this. I mean, obviously you should do it, but it's right. uh, gonna evade. I mean, range three plus evade and Palpatine yep. can can keep that alive if Riot is gonna stay consistent and want to. Uh, and I imagine keep shooting the Reaper. We'll see Riot just roll the block. This oh oh no, he already had the target lock. Okay, 
It's like he's target locking there is bold. There's no reason to let Sinkter come and take our free range one shot on you after he does his two straight that we all know he's doing. Might be doing a two bank. That, it's true. Depends on what he expected from Ryad, but it, I mean the options were basically five straight and three bank. Yep, he'll take the roll. Just go ahead and block it. It's free. Yep. Cosmic Jello, thank you for re-upping your Twitch Prime subscription. That was the you blocked it hand yep. gesture. It was a three straight. Yep. It's a little faster than I thought he would go. Yeah, he might not have had the barrel roll, actually. It's surprising. Maybe you wanted the block? Case of, no, I, I imagine he's happy to trade range one shots there. Probably not. Calling 4K, soon tier. He was stressed. Yes. Maybe this turn. Boo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The stress token is the fancy crate skull ones. Maybe it's hard yeah. to catch. I'm ready to see Duncan one hard soon tier again, and I want to. I want to see Andrew like 3K riot and just kill him for it. <laughs> it would just make me so happy if that's how this ended. 20 minutes left. We did see Duncan Howard pull a damaged engine in the top 16 match. Yes. And uh, he did some one hearts. Yeah. I, I don't know that I believe in his one hearts. I don't. <laughs> I went and yelled <laughs> but, at him but, for but them. We saw them. We did see them. And it, wor it worked out. It, so. He won, so it was correct. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, so do you think Duncan goes for the just keep running? Or does he go for the fake out, like aileron right one turn and just go around the other side of the rock? I mean, either way, he's going to get caught in arc here. Yeah, he's there's no way not shot. to get a shot. Jan Bluda, yes, I did meet um, the gentleman from Peru, Gabo and Alberto. The great guys, tons of fun. That triple reaper list that Alberto brought was... Very hard match. I won, but it was it was not easy. So there's the one hard. Yep. Wait, didn't it? Did he aileron first? He did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, one bank. I got distracted one momentarily. Bank to the right. All right. Is Raya just doing the straight, or is it a three bank, and he's gonna have to? Yeah, there it is. He's got a rock. He has the obstruction. Uh, they. Oh. oh. Definitely has a rock now. Yes. <laughs> I don't know that he did it before, but he definitely does now. Gets an evade, uh, presumably just going to focus and try to finish off this Reaper and then yep. run. <laughs> New objective, survive. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. Not afraid of no rock. There's the one hard. Yep. He'll, get, he'll get the focus. <laughs> I mean, see, here's the thing. Like, if this wasn't Sunter, right? If, yep. if Sunter didn't have this ability where he got the focus after getting stressed, yep. I think you, you say this game is completely over. I think yeah. just the fact that he can get those uh, get those focus tokens could make a big difference. Look at that right there. He's going to get all hits. Yep, there's three. He'll strip. He'll spend one to get the guaranteed shield. Yep, of course. Are those all blanks? I, I cannot read these dice from here. No, the, the angle is bad. Uh, to read, I don't have it set up to do a dice on the table. We had dice bouncing off dice. We're pointing at things. Things are happening. I don't know. Spends the evade. Safe. Yep. Oh, just entirely. He I has to spend the focus in order to not take any any hole damage. Oh, gotcha. So shields are down on Riad using optimized prototype. I'm very surprised he spent that focus, but he's got the. He would he would have taken hole damage. There might, and there was a crit in there. Oh, there was, okay. Yeah. Never mind. The world makes sense. Yep. All right, here we go. Range two into Vermeil. There's a blank. Has a target lock. Gonna got lone oh, wolf. Oh, his lone yeah. wolf. He doesn't need it. Is that a crit? That looks like an eyeball. Uh oh, okay. Palpatine. Lightweight frame. Spend the evade for four. <laughs> was it four? No, it was oh. only three hits, but 
yeah. he, he could have gotten four. So I imagine we'll just see Ryad 5K here again. Yeah. <laughs> Through the rock. <laughs> yep, straight over it. It's free. Uh, if he survives, of course. So it's four agility. All right. Hey, two hits. He's got four and a reroll to He's find. He has two evades already? Oh, no. I think he might be taking one. Takes two. Takes two. This Whoa. rock is much scarier now. Interesting turn of events there. Yep. Having to spend that focus on the on defense with Soontir really flips the game there. Are you ready to see Ryad's one hard? Rarely seen in nature. It might be time. Because I don't know that is going to be able to get a shot doing that unless he two straights, which he probably is doing anyway, so never mind. I retract my vote for the one hard. So what is your new vote? I... I 5K in a dream, baby. 5K in a dream, 50-50 shot. I mean, if, if he's convinced that that's uh, happening, Duncan, Duncan's aileron's going to hit that rock, right? Yeah. Well, he can aileron left and not hit the rock, which is why I was looking at the one hard right, because he could aileron and stall, but that's not very like, – I imagine it was aileron like three bank and just yeah. bail. Because if Ryan does do the do, does do the K turn, uh, mm -hmm. you could possibly arc dodge. Yeah, though uh, Ryan's one bank might fit. It's close. What suit tiers move here? Just a two straight. I'm sure. Two straight. Yeah. Yeah. Worst case, he has to roll out and come back later. This could be the game right here. It could. Yeah, we will very soon learn if we are going to have a final salvo or <laughs> if the game will end. Both are still reasonable options. Duncan's probably favored like 80-20 here to win the game because, uh, I mean, Andrew might just be taking a 50-50 with the Rock here in the first place. Thank you, Joe Desmond, for your bits. That sounds funny. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Is that six bits? That's six bits. That's like nothing, isn't it? I, I mean, something. Yeah, oh, I just mean like, oh. I don't know what is, what is a bit worth. I think it's like a, it's a couple couple cents, like five cents, something like that. It is something. Yeah. I guess it's, it's whatever they pay for it. I don't even know. If it's not yeah, right. I have no idea how it works. It's okay. two ads. Oh, is that the sloop? Duncan Howard, oh. all in. Hungry. Oh, no. Wow. But that means if Ryad. 12.5 cents. Nice. If Ryad won hearts here, he could do it. Yes. 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 One hard. That's going to be a red maneuver. Oh, yeah, it is. And does it. That seems to be blocked. Yep. No shot. Oh, burn it down. Sunderfeld. The sacred board state. Uh, two straight. Two straight, maybe. Uh, that Is looks like a two blocked? bank. That looks like a. Oh, no. That is a two. This could be it right here, guys. Here's, here's where Duncan misses and then has to go for the rock. <laughs> and Sunter <laughs> dies. So focus for the, uh, for the action. Yep. No need to evade. No need to stress yourself. He doesn't put a focus token out. And that'll He's do it. Don't need it the is. focus. Don't just roll Natty. Just roll Natty. Just, why even focus? <laughs> What's the point? You can see the applaud over there. We're going to go ahead and go to our booth view. Hey, oh. Hey, we're here. Hey. I found Ryan. There hey. we go. So, I've been here the whole time, I promise. All right, well, I have to change shirts because Bun failed me. I'm with Heaver again. <laughs> So I want to thank you guys so much for joining us for this broadcast. I want to remind you for our sponsor, Curl Paw Creative. To go to curlpawcreatives.com, they make awesome acrylic templates. You got all the st oh, other side. Oh, ah, th oh, <laughs> that way. There it is. Uh, lots of awesome things here. Uh, our coupon code, which is over here, GenCon18 for ten dollars off of a fifty dollar order. Um, Thank you to our Twitch Prime subscriber, everybody who put in bits during the during the broadcast. Don't forget, you have Amazon Prime. It's literally giving away free money, and we would really appreciate the donation just by clicking that Twitch Prime button. 
<laughs> Sorry, where were you on the final table? Minox Squadron spectating? <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys stop us for once? Put some effort into this, please? Uh, and also thank you to <laughs> all of our... <laughs> stop it. I'm trying. I'm working. <laughs> I want to thank our patrons. You guys are the ones that make these streams possible, traveling all around the United States. You know what? This is relevant. Ryan's here. I'm going to be going to... The Minoc Open. The Minoc Open. I am the official stream of the Minoc Open. Ooh, so fancy. We got, we got the Minoc yes. Open. We have the uh, Gold Minoc Squadron Classic. Squadron. And the I might be able to make... I might be able to... <laughs> we might be uh, making it out to Crate Cup whenever that is. Yes. To com That's to, a good uh, question. To do that. I mean, so lots of events. We have the um, the Nova Open. I mean, I'm doing so many events, and that's the only no, reason the this is possible. The White Walkers are on top again. Anyway, so uh, doing tons of events, and all of that's possible because of our patrons. You can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron uh, to become a part of our biggest part of uh, supporters. Thank you so much. All right, put, put, on, put on the headset. There you go. Give me, give me a test one, two. Test one, two. All right, there it is. So here, with your North American Championship, Duncan Howard. Oh, thank you. How, how's it feel, my friend? I'm so tired. <laughs> it's only 12 rounds in two days with, like, probably very little sleep because we're up super late hanging out with people. Yeah, it's like 11.30 last night is when I got to bed. And I'm like, oh, I'll be here at 8. <laughs> I'm like, up at 6. Oh, Jesus. So before I ask you any questions or anything, any shout-outs you want to give, any, you know, just who, who do you want to talk up? Uh, well, first off, the crates. Crates on top. Um and my girlfriend, she was watching the whole time. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Bun's your second favorite, I think. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and Andrew, they also have all my opponents actually this weekend were really great. Um, got some uh, great matchups against people I've never played against before. I played against Jaron Foss in yeah. top 16 and played against Bun in um, round six and that uh, top cut. Mm -hmm. But the round six didn't matter yesterday. So. Right. Well, man, you it. know, so watching, watching your run here, in two of our streams that you got to play, by the way, thank you for playing, mm -hmm. uh, you had two situations where you had damage engines, and you were able to play around it. Ugh. So what, what were your thoughts when you saw those damage engines come up in those games? My, I was looking at that, and I thought the two-bank could barely fit, you know, if you advantage template it a little <laughs> bit. But I, like, clearly hit the rock. So I was like, oh, Jesus. All right, so what are the odds that I roll a uh, roll a crit? One and eight, right? right? And then what are the odds that it's damage engine or PS0, the two crits I don't want to see? Right. And I just drew it. I was like, oh, my God. I can't. So, um, yeah, it was rough, um, and it's hard to play against Riad like that. Yep. Uh, but I just did, you know, because, like, she's hard to hit, but she can be pretty predictable sometimes. Yeah. Um, I did not see that block coming on the last turn. Mm. Maybe, I guess I did a little bit in some way, but I was like, okay, he's. it's really risky if he does that one hard. Yeah. That's the only move that doesn't hit the asteroid right there. And he's at one health, so he wouldn't go over the. He might not go over the asteroid. Yeah, we were thinking uh, the one heart was a maybe, or but I think the five K felt like I mean, after he took the damage, probably not. But yeah, the five K or the uh, the three hard seemed pretty good. But like I just dialed in a two straight to if he had done a K turn, like barrel boost in some way. Yeah. Um, but then I changed the Reaper dial at the last second. Okay. Uh, from a three straight, I was gonna do a. Um, a one bank three straight. Yeah. Uh, Which is maybe what he was anticipating by doing that one hard. Yeah, and he obviously didn't want to die on the rock. And yeah. I don't think he he had a very low odds of hitting me because he would have been stressed. He would have only had Lone Wolf as a mod. I have right. a Bade Uh But I really just wanted to end it right there. And I, if he had done something else, I kind of wanted to step soon to a barrel roll boost around the rock either way. Mm -hmm. um, but it worked out. So Awesome. Well, we yeah. have some uh, some questions from some of our, uh, our viewers here. So... People are asking. Tim wants to know where did you get that awesome shirt? Did you all see the back? They didn't see the back. They all right, we got to turn it around. Go, go There's ahead. enough cable. There's enough cable. Oh yeah, we got. All right, order 66, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Tim, thanks for the shirt. My girlfriend was wearing uh, the copy that you know I got. So Tim actually got two printed. That's for awesome. The price of one. Muon asks, uh, what ship are you most looking forward to? Uh, forward to in second edition. Most, I'm most looking forward to. I don't know. I, I still love my um, my pal bases. Like the Inquisitor looks really good. Mm -hmm. We were um, practicing um, our like a 2.0 league. Yeah. We didn't know point costs. 
And we didn't even have the uh, Reaper when that thing came out, so we didn't have medium bases, so people like custom ordering bases and stuff. Yeah. We had no idea of point cost, like didn't know what half the cards did. Um, so I didn't play until the Reaper came out. And I've been flying, uh, I was flying Palp Reaper, uh, just to get a feel for medium bases and force. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Quiz, Naked, and uh, Lone Wolf Soon Tier. Yeah. And when uh, point cost came out, it ended up being 164, so I can get a <laughs> lot like, more upgrades. Like, more look toys. At all room for activities. <laughs> So uh, transitioning into that, what is your opinion of 2.0 as it's coming out here in the next uh, five weeks? Um, I've only played about two or three games of 2.0 uh, so far. And then the event yesterday I don't think gave a really good perspective mm -hmm. on what 2.0 can be. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Um, obviously some stuff I did this weekend wouldn't work in 2.0. Right. But that's, that's, you know, the point. So, and I've, yeah. so I'm excited. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Still going to play. Are there any other uh, big events that you're going to be playing at uh, for the rest of first edition? Probably changing up my list a little bit, going to Nova because it's in my backyard. Basically, yeah. I already got the time off for that weekend. Um, and then there's a uh, the first uh, second edition store championship at Gritty Goblin Games in Maryland. Oh, uh, it's they, be they were able by to the crates. Yeah, it's oh, being streamed by awesome. the crates. Yeah, well, they pushed it because they're allowed. So uh, Tim Hilton got him to change it. That's awesome. Instead of being, I think it was like this weekend with like four other store championships in the yeah for sure in the Nova. So. You know, that was well, a good call. Well, I want to say thank you. It's time for you to go celebrate, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations, right, thank you very North much. American champion, Duncan Howard. Uh, thank you. Have a good night, everybody.